Hi, I'm Bernie Berenger from Brainerd, Minnesota, and you're about to watch a video of a bear that I shot in Manitoba in May of this year. You'll be able to see more about this shot and this bear as Brian analyzes it at the Black Bear Show in Barnum, Minnesota, July 25 to 27 this year. You can go to blackbearshow.com for more information about that. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to try to dissect Bernie's shot in the rain. Uh, now, I did not examine this bear personally, so I'm going by the video and the photos that you get to see. So what I'm telling you is my opinion, not fact. But I think I've got some good information you're going to like. Okay, first off, he went through the shoulder blade and the arrow stopped in the backbone, which did what's called an incomplete paralysis of the bear. There was some use of the back legs, but it was enough that it immobilized him enough that he could not get up and run away. Now, if you take a look at my model here, and I get my broadhead, he went through, I believe from the photo, he went through right here. I'm not sure of that door sinks, it might've been here, but a bear has what's called two spines of the scapula, where a deer has just one spine down the middle. So he came in off to the right on one of them, okay? Now, he was up 18 feet in the tree. So if he's up 18 feet in the tree, we figure out the angle, which I haven't done yet, but that's gonna be a steep angle. And if he hit it here, you would see he would have hit the lung. So the catch is, according to my model, he would have made a perfect double lung shot even though he went through there, but he didn't. So, and we're gonna to explain to that why. So is my model wrong, even though these are the actual bones being molded, being reproduced from this bear? No, this gets into something, and this is what's very interesting for me because this has again to do with the body angle in the body position of the animal we're shooting, especially bears. Deer are more static how they walk and how they stand, except for when you shoot and they drop. On a bear, they can be hunched back kind of like a raccoon or in Bernie's situation. And what happened here is, if you take a look at the video again, his legs were straight down, okay? Now here's where that matters in this situation. If I measure from where that foot touches the ground there to where that elbow is here, the olecran on there, that's like 15 and a half inches, okay? But see the angle of this? What happens if the, that leg is straight down? Well, if that leg pulls back, this is gonna go up. And fortunately, I made this where I can take this out. So now if we go back to 15 and a half inches, look what we have. We end up having this here up really high so Bernie's arrow could come through here like it did, go through here and actually hit the spine. So if two people hit the bear in the same place in the scapula, and one gets a double lung shot and it dies right away, the other one, the bear runs away or it drops, how can that be? Because they're in the same place. It has to do with the body position of the bear in the angle of the legs. And basically, if the bear's standing straight up like this, or if the bear's hunched down like this, okay? So that's the first thing that I want to note, okay? Now, we want to go into how did the bear die? We timed it after his second shot, and it was 29 seconds in the bear died. So if he hit it here, and he put it in the backbone, he either hit one lung barely, or he hit no lungs. His other shot that was underneath him when the bear was on its side, it appeared to me, and I've got old man's eyes, it appeared to me that he made a single lung shot, but yet the bear died in 29 seconds after that. He would not have died in that amount of time with a single lung shot. So I'm gonna give you two different possibilities of what happened on how that bear died, because Bernie said, I believe he told me that he said it died of a double lung shot. But again, I didn't get to examine this. So here's, here's theory number one. His arrow did go through here, but it did hit just the top of the lung there when it went into the backbone. So that would be the left lung was actually struck by the broadhead as it went in. Then as the bear flipped over on its belly, he then hit it in the right lung when it was on its back, and that's how both lungs were hit. Okay, that's theory number one. Theory number two is this. He did not hit this lung at all when he went in. And when the bear was on its back, my editor, Gavin, 
who's got better eyes than I do, and he got to put this down in slow motion. This was shot in 24 frames per second, so we couldn't slow it down like in our camera at 120 to, to see it perfectly. For, but he slowed it down as much as he could, and he believes what happened is the arrow went through the second arrow and lodged in the backbone. And I said, why do you believe that, Gavin? That doesn't make sense to me. And he goes, because there's no blood in the ground. If, there's if it would have went all the way through, there'd be a lot of blood from that lung on the ground. And I said, okay, that's a good point. Now, if he did shoot it in the one lung and it went in the backbone, that means he only hit one lung. So how could it die of a double lung shot? And here is how it is. And this is really great from a physiological standpoint. If he shot it in, this, this is the, the left lung here. If he shot it in the other lung when it was on the back, okay? You get blood in the lung, and that's called a hemoneumothorax. In other words, the lung collapses, which is a pneumothorax. Blood in the lungs is a hemo. That's the hemo part of that, okay? So the lung that he shot caused a hemoneumothorax in that particular lung. If he put it in the backbone, that's not, he didn't hit the other lung, but he hit the membrane that separates the right lung from the left lung, which is called the mediastinum. So all he had to do is cut that membrane, the air would get into the cavity from the first lung collapsing, then that would get into the second cavity, and that would collapse the second lung, and that would be a double lung shot. So this could be a situation where Bear died of a double lung death, but only one lung was shot, and that lung was a hemoneumothorax, the other lung was a simple pneumothorax. I don't know that this is true, that's just my conjecture, but it is a possibility. I'm sure if you follow me on the Anatomy Hunter, you share my passion about wanting hunters to be able to kill more deer and wound less. For you to be able to help me, you could send me your videos to the anatomyhunter.org and you'll find a, a place that'll say perfect the shot and all the instructions are there. Thank you very much.